I've been told Wellington was the windy city, but the previous day's weather had faked me out. Today it lived up to its reputation. To my surprise, I ran into the former English librarian I'd met on the bus from Greymouth. Both of us being Lord of the Ring fans, we decided to go to Miramar and see the Weta Studios. The bus was only $3, but it took us about half an hour to get there. Miramar is past the airport, south and east of Wellington. A five-minute walk from the bus stop brought us to the Weta Cave. This was like a small museum set up by the studios to house props and collectibles. My favorite part of the cave was a 30-minute film they show telling the history of Weta Digital. Just up the street was the Weta Workshop where props, swords, and anything tangible for the movies are made. In a stroke of luck I was given a tour of Park Road Post where movie sound, music, and editing takes place. It was very impressive, but because of ongoing projects, I wasn't allowed to take my camera in. Just a few minutes away was Stone Street Studios. I tried to convince security to let me in, but The Hobbit was just starting to film so they couldn't. The bus to Hastings was over an hour late. This was the only late bus I encountered. Buses are very punctual in New Zealand. Hastings was five hours northeast of Wellington, near the town of Napier. I soon noticed that the passengers were very different from the ones I traveled with on the South Island. Down there, everyone was a backpacker or on vacation. On the North Island, almost everyone was a Kiwi, either going home or going to visit someone. At a stop in Palmerston North, I spoke to a British couple who was also traveling on the bus. They'd been woofing their way across New Zealand. Woofing is working on a farm in exchange for food and lodging. They'd been tandem biking to their next farm when they were hit by a car. They'd spent the last five weeks in hospital, but they were finally on their way home. Drunk driving and car accidents are a big problem in New Zealand. Even bus passengers are required to wear their seat belts. Soon it would be too dark to film, but in another hour I'd be in Hastings in Hawke's Bay. <laughs> 